एयर इंडिया एक्सप्रेस फ्लाइट बोइंग सेवन थ्री सेवन एट हंड्रेड दैट वॉज कमिंग फ्रॉम द दुबई एंड इट वॉज शेड्यूल टू लैंड इन कोजिकोट एयरपोर्ट एट सेवन फोर्टी पी एम अनफॉर्चुनेटली क्रैश एंड ब्रोक ऑफ इन टू टू पीसेस सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल एनालाइज एंड लर्न हाउ दिस एक्सीडेंट हैपन्स एंड वॉट आर द पॉसिबल मीजर्स दैट कैन बी अडोप्टेड फॉर अवॉइडिंग द सच टाइप ऑफ एक्सीडेंट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस सी वेर दिस एयरपोर्ट इज सिचुएटेड ऑन गूगल मैप हियर यू कैन सी द एयरपोर्ट एंड रन बे विच इज अ टेबल टॉप एंड इन दिस हियर वी विल डिस्कस दैट वाट इज द टेबल टॉप रन वे एज पर द एयरपोर्ट अथॉरिटी ऑफ इंडिया चेयरमैन अरविंद सिंह he told to pti that in india there are four table top runway they are at uh, first kozhikot second one is mangalore that is in karnataka simla next and uh, simla is situated in uh, himachal pradesh and paikyong that is in sikkim again one state owned uh, this airport is also there which is table uh, top runway in mizoram now the table top runway what is the table top runway let us uh, see this so a table top runway is a runway that is located at the top of a plateau or hills with one or both ends adjacent to slope so here you can see the clear picture of the table top runway now the uh length of kozhikot runway so the length of kozhikot runway that is 2860 meter and here in yellow strip that that is yellow marking you can just see that uh, the landing way of runway 10 so in this particular path this uh, air india flight has to be land on that runway that is runway 10 the plane was attempted two times for landing but it could not land uh, now here you can see the path of the plane that was traveled during the landing attempts and finally they gave the atc uh, gave the instruction to the pilot that you go around and then try for landing so sati was the captain of this particular flight and uh, it was co-piloted by akhilesh so is the very clever uh, decision for burning of the fuels because initially they thought that it might be a uh, hard landing or some uh, something accident may happen so he tried to burn the maximum fuel so that the uh, fire and other uh, problems will not happens uh, in this case the a fire could be avoided so the pilot uh, decision was really uh, appreciated when the pilot decided to land on the runway 10 the plane could not touch the marking uh, that is a touch down zone and it landed some meter away from the touch down position so when the touch down is uh, from this point and the plane uh, landed from this point so the runway actual uh, length of the runway became less because the plane is not touching down on actual touch down zone other reason might be due to tail wind uh, and uh, that was very uh, flowing speedy and excessive rubber deposition and uh, water stagnation and uh, we all know that uh, meghalaya in uh, washim rao have the maximum rainfall Uh, apart from that in second position kozhikot is uh, comes under second number in india where the rainfall precipitation is uh, second most so there is also excessive rainfall in this uh, region again water stagnation on uh, runway that was about 2 mm so all these factors combined and resulted in a type of unfortunate accident now let us have a look regarding the percentage of fatal accident that is happened from 2019 uh, 9 to 9, uh, 18 uh, so about 9 years so i have taken this figure from boeing.com so boeing is a very prestigious company that uh, makes some uh, uh, 
this aircraft passenger aircrafts so here it is quite clear that the landing means landing approach and landing have the maximum number of accident that is 49 percent and take off and just uh, climb up initial uh, that is about 12 percent so it is quite low so uh, everyone uh, it is quite clear that landing and uh, that means descending the plane it quite risky and the maximum number of accident happens in this case now let us explore why the accident happens that means what are the possible reasons that uh, such type of accident happens so first is the adverse weather condition due to high wind speed that hit the tail of the plane and uh, water stagnation uh, on runway which is about 3 mm the runway reduces the friction coefficient and the plane take off skid so these are the major factors that are governed with the weather that's why this plane might be uh, skid off due to that reason second one is excessive deposition of rubber on runway that causes the skidding of the plane due to very low friction between tires and runway so when the plane touches down the runway it leave the rubber on the runway so it uh, should be properly removed otherwise that may cause the uh, problem for landing of other aeroplanes now the landing approach away from the touchdown zone resulted the shortening of the runway that was the another reason and plane could not stop at the end point and it fell down in 32 feet deep ditch so that was fourth reason again next one why the plane why this accident happens is ignorance of so cause notice issued by dgca to koji code airport in which they have raised the flight concerned issues and they have raised the eight concern regarding to uh, this uh, airport so first one is excessive rubber deposition second one was water stagnation that is happening there because of high rainfall zone and uh, cracks on the runway 28 uh, touchdown zone that is very dangerous and runway strip transfer slope so runway strip was in transfer slope that uh, may cause the skidding of the uh, flight and uh, cracks at aircraft stand number five so these are some uh, major points that has raised by the uh, dgca and uh, again uh, seventh uh, concern that was wind equipment was unserviceable so uh, wind equipment that will not tell the actual data now eighth uh, concern was not enough equipment to douse fire so there was not enough uh, equipment when the any accident happens the fire can be doused uh, rapidly so that was eight major concern raised by DGCA to Koji Court Airport in uh, July 2019, but it was ignored by the authority of Koji Court that might be a reason for happening of such type of accident. So if they take all these uh, factors very seriously, perhaps that can uh, not happens. So the lives of the person, those are coming from Dubai, uh, can be saved. Now the airplane health maintenance should also be performed properly so that if any problems in engine or uh, other components is there it can be sorted out in a uh, given stipulated time and uh, seriousness about safety violation issued by whistleblower. So Gaurav Taneja who was the captain in Air Asia raised the issue regarding the safety measures and he was suspended from Air Asia. So uh, when the such type of person they raise their voice it should be taken in seriously and when it will be taken seriously the immediate action should also be raised from the DGCA and concerned authority so that safety of the person can be ensured. Now let us know how such type of tragedy can be prevented. 
सो फर्स्ट वन इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज इंस्टॉलिंग द इंजीनियर्ड मेटीरियल्स अरेस्टर सिस्टम सो वाट इट वर्क दैट विल हेल्प टू अरेस्ट द स्पीड ऑफ प्लेन रिजल्टिंग द प्लेन स्टॉप लेसन फ्रॉम द प्रीवियस एक्सीडेंट वी कैन लर्न दैट हाउ सच टाइप ऑफ एक्सीडेंट हैपन्स लाइक इन केस ऑफ टू थाउजेंड टेन इन मैंगलोर द सिमिलर टाइप ऑफ एक्सीडेंट वॉज हैपन्स वेन ए प्लेन द सेम कंपनी एयर इंडिया वॉज लैंडेड ट्राई टू लैंडेड ऑन द टेबल टॉप रन वे इन मैंगलोर इट कुड नॉट कम्प्लीट प्रॉपरली एंड जस्ट स्कीड ऑफ एंड फेल डाउन and uh, it was crashed and unfortunately fire catch up in this particular uh, flight and uh, more number of casualty happens so from these uh, accident we can also learn how we can avoid such type of accident in future again second uh, third most important factor is recarpeting of the surface uh, of the runway so runway should be recarpet every 10 years for maintaining the coefficient of the friction because coefficient of the friction is a very important for arresting the speed of the aircraft so that it can be stopped in uh, within the runway limit and uh, uh, such type of accident that happens in koji court and mangalore could be avoided so it should be perform in uh, regularly also now the while the landing in a rainy situation because koji court comes under the high rainfall zone there should be some precautionary measures that the pilot should also be considered and uh, uh, really they consider all these things but it uh, could be uh, i am just telling you for your knowledge so first one uh, th- important thing is anti skid uh, operation should be uh, on so in case of boeing the anti a skid uh, mechanism is there and it should be on now the uh, second point is resort to medium braking action when the runway is uh, that is wet it should be resorted for medium braking action and the wipers uh, should be operational so that visibility uh, from the aircraft can be ensured maximum and consider aqua planning so aqua planning should also be considered in a proper way and calculate factored landing distance which is mostly used for the runways so these are important uh, some factors that can be uh, used for the landing in rainy situation one of the most important operation that is a uh, opening of the landing gears and it should be open properly when the plane is approaching for the landing so that no difficulty will be there while the pilot is just approaching the plane for the landing operation so it should be smooth and technically well and good and one of the most important factor that that is a cost factor for maintenance of aircraft and maintenance of runway that should be uh, expenses should be there for uh, properly so this is all about the uh, video and analysis of air india plane crash i hope you understand something from this video thank you so much